A pleasure to see you both. Songbird needs a moment to disarm the device. Which gives us a chance to chat. We are not in a hurry. <laughs> I'm sure. I hear you're not the type to do anything hastily. Then we have much in common, Colonel. I have heard the same about you. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. I usually hear the exact opposite about myself. So many fear criminals for their weapons, muscles, chrome, but are blind to the mind underneath. A betrayed man, patient for his vengeance. He is dangerous. Changing the subject. Did you enjoy yourselves at the Black Sapphire? My people tell me the games went high stakes. You two left richer and happier, I hope. By the end of the night, we lost our entire stack. But such is gambling. Oh, judging by your tone, that doesn't seem to bother you at all. Because it does not. I enjoy money, of course but I do not allow it to control my life. You know what they say about great minds. I think it's no surprise we find ourselves doing business together. The Black Sapphire is my pride and joy. I worked hard to make it the go-to destination for Night City's royalty. Your operation in the stadium is most impressive. Perhaps even more than the ball at the Sapphire. One can't work without the other. To make billions from the arms trade, you have to first line the pockets of the powerful with millions. The stadium is an integral part of my work in Night City. Say, it's been a while since you were last in Night City, hasn't it? Not since Sinoshore. Quite right, but we almost flew here some time ago. Emmerich had other business in Night City. My brother is obsessed with cars. <laughs> he collects them. I say to him how wonderfully pretentious he is. Interesting. And what rare gem brought you halfway around the world? Cat got your time. I was shopping for a Quadra Turbo R, a model from 55. Ah. A connoisseur of the classics. You know, I checked whether anyone here knew you. They did mention a car, just not a Quadra. I have a diverse collection. I work much and spend even more. You understand. Of course, although my spending differs from yours. True, war is an expensive hobby. Please. I have vodka. Help yourselves. I'm sure you never put pleasure before business, but I insist. A symbolic drink. <laughs> I could not say it better myself. Symbolic, yes. Not very American, I know, but it's a custom my friends in Siberia taught me to love. Your old friends in the new states. There is bad blood, no? Mm-hmm. Federal agents sniff around you still. It's complicated. When they don't want their John Hancocks on something, they wire me a transfer and I set to work. And later that night, I'll watch him condemn my terrorist act on the evening news. So they sniff around, sure. But they prefer to call direct. And that's not likely to change in this admin, nor the next. Ah, right. I'd almost forgotten. My friends in La Sante send their regards. C-Block. Uh, your friends are mistaken, I think. Are you sure? 
You spent two years in that prison, under a false name. That's right, in the VIP wing. But the cockroaches in C-Block don't know who is there. Then forgive me. I must be mistaken. By the way, Amrick, I asked around a bit doing my due diligence. They tell me you worked at Petrochem three years ago. Corporations rarely let your caliber talent slip through their fingers. How did you wriggle out of the contract? Colonel, this may be difficult to believe, but I do not remember. Hmm? I store my memories in external data banks. My data banks from that time were stolen. Forgive me, I would like to answer, but I cannot. Please, it's no problem. Ah, so me. We can begin. The mainframe is ready. You remember the terms. One of you feeds in the access codes, the other stays with me. Ooh, I volunteer to stay. To work, then. Follow me. As agreed, you'll see the payments hit your account today. Ah, money and kept promises. Two of my 